Hi, I'm Shan. Today I want to talk about The Mars Room by Rachel Kushner. Um, this, of course, is longlisted for the Man Booker Prize 2018. Um, it was a book I had anyway because I love a bit of Rachel Kushner. Um, the Flamethrowers, when I read it a few years ago, was one of my favourite books of that year. And it's a book that, while I think was flawed, has really stayed with me. And in particular, um, the imagery that she used in that book has really stayed with me. Um, so I knew I was going to like this one. I knew it was my kind of book. And um, I really did. I thought it was wonderful. And um, there's a couple of other books I'm kind of interested in the long list. I'm not particularly interested in many of them, but the one that I really want to read is Sabrina, which is, of course, the uh, graphic novel. I just got this at the library today. I think it looks wonderful. I think it's going to be something I'm going to really like. And also I'm fine with the graphic novels being on the list. Um, and then the other one I've got is The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh, which I know that, which I ordered before it was on the list because um, lots of people have been saying how much they liked it. Um, but now I've got, I got it out today from the library. I'm not sure if it's quite my thing, um, but I will give it a go because it's had lots of kind of positive reviews. Um, but anyway, back to the Mars Room. Um, the kind of plot behind the Mars Room, which you've probably heard masses of times by now, but it's about a character called Romy Hall. Yes, it's 2003, and she's just been um, taken to prison to uh, for uh, two life sentences, and then I think there's extra years on top of that, um, so she's not getting out anytime soon, and she's left behind, or left in her real world, um, a young son. Um, so it's really just talking about her experiences in the prison and then it goes back, kind of flits back and forth um, to tell us a little bit about how she ended up there. Uh, it also then has multiple points of view, so there's different um, viewpoints from other prisoners um, and also there's uh, the viewpoint of a teacher called Gordon Hauser who teaches um, in the prison. Generally I don't really like a multiple point of view. Um, technique but I think when Rachel Kushner does it I'm fine um, yeah so I, I was really happy with that and I could see why she had done it because I think if we were just reading Romy's story it would have become quite sort of unrelenting and it almost gave us like a little break from the story and it made you want to keep going back and hearing more about it and I was really you know you don't know how reliable any of these narrators are as well and it also means you get lots of stories from different um, kind of first person narratives I think you're all the first person. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I did. I really enjoy her writing. I, yeah, I just, I, yeah, I kind of went, <laughs> I loved everything about it. I thought that even though you know that she's, um, you know, she's in prison, she has, there's no doubt that she has done this crime. I found her a very sympathetic character. I'm not sure that everyone does. I'd be interested if you didn't. But I, you know, she's a character that's had kind of, not horrendous time, but a difficult time in her uh, her childhood. She's um, a stripper at the Mars Room. She has got this young son. She's got um, she's dealt with kind of like sort of hints that maybe there was addiction. It's not you know or definitely lots of kind of uh, drugs um, and a stalker guy as well. I and but also she's really smart, so she's not she, she you know she likes reading. Um, and yeah, I really, I did really enjoy her, her thoughts as well. She's not, you don't, you aren't made to feel kind of sympathy for her. I mean, you're not meant to feel sorry for her, but you do kind of feel for her in this situation. The other character that I found quite relatable was the teacher, Gordon Hauser, even though he's kind of a bit pathetic and he's sort of gone into this world and he feels like he really wants to make a difference in these prisoners' lives by kind of sharing great writing with them. But it's kind of, you know, it's not... It's not going to be what he what he wants it to be, I guess. And he kind of a little bit is, falls in love with Romy um, and he wants to help her. But ultimately, he, he you know, he's not going to, I guess. Um, but he, I think his character was just, again, it was just super relatable. And I'm not sure if you were in that situation, what you would do as well. Um... Yeah, the other characters, though, that are in it are a little bit more difficult, the ones that are narrated. There's one in particular called Doc, who I found his voice really difficult because, you know, his his stories are, or his personality is just so horrible um, and the language is horrible and he was quite he was quite hard work. Um, I could see how people might not like this book because I think there are kind of difficult elements to it and it's not like 
it doesn't feel like a novel novel things aren't all kind of sorted out or people become good people you know it's there's none of that it just feels like it's kind of like a real life honest really kind of open open and honest kind of book um I have been watching different reviews from people because I'm really interested in, in, in what people think. I really enjoyed M. Kate Armstrong's review and she talked about how, and I'll link these in the description, but she talked about how she um, admired the unshowy writing style and she also liked how it was non-political. And I like, I hadn't really twigged, but I agree with her in that sense of she's not, um, it's about the prison system, about how awful the prison system is, but she's not trying to make you feel a certain way. It's very much that kind of, reporting on something and she as she's as Kate Armstrong says she doesn't Rachel Kushner doesn't kind of try and pull on your heartstrings or kind of that you know I hate those books where you kind of feel like manipulated by someone there's not of that there's just like this is what's happening it's kind of real and honest and yeah and then the other review I enjoyed was Matthew Sharappa's review and he um he liked it too and I think the thing that I was interested in what he was talking about was how was the language and he was saying about that knowing the right kind of language or knowing the correct terms is kind of a privilege and um, I thought that was kind of an interesting take on on the language and how it's written. Uh, I enjoyed Mercy's review as well. She didn't like it so I think she was kind of mixed about it so I think she liked elements of it um, but wasn't as into it. I think she struggled with the um, with the language and I can you know, I can kind of understand that as well. And I was looking for reviews which were kind of really hating it, because I know people have, but I couldn't really find any. I didn't look, like, super hard. But if you know of any, I'd be uh, kind of interested to, to read them as well. But yes, I loved it. I acknowledge it's not going to be for everyone, but um, I was a big fan of it. It'll probably end up being one of my favourite books of the year, I would think. Um, yes, I like the setting, I like the name. I like the characters, I like the ending, I liked the realness of it all. That's all I've got to say about it. I hope that made sense. I will be back soon with a little haul. Anyway, bye.